boys and girls. Welcome back to Penny's Reading Nook. It's been a while since I've seen you, but I'm glad you're here today. I'm here at uh, the Patch Office at Spencer, West Virginia, and we're going to do some read, make, and do activities. Now, usually we start off with a storybook. We read, and then we make, and then we do. Well, we're going to do things a little different today. First thing we have to do is we have to make something to go along with our book. And the name of our book is called Don't Push the Button. Do you have any ideas what we might need to make? Hmm, if the name of my book is Don't Push the Button, what do you think? I think we need to make a button, right? Right. Well, this week at Building Blocks, we're talking about ways that we can keep our earth happy to where it's here for a long time for all of us to enjoy. And we were talked about recycle, reduce, and reuse. So for this project, we're going to use, we're going to recycle a lot of projects, and we're going to, or items, we'll say, and we're going to reuse them and make them into something new. Does that make our earth happy? Yes, that makes our earth happy. So for starters, I've got an old envelope. This is the envelope my electric bill came in. So yeah, we're going to reuse that one. And you want to either draw yourself a circle by yourself, or I'm going to reuse a milk lid after I drop it. So you can find you an old envelope that was going to go in the trash. Just take that envelope, and we're going to get us some crayons. We're going to trace the circle. You can decorate your circle however you want. Let's see, I'll have a purple one today. I'm going to trace my circle. Okay, and then we're going to color it. Do, 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 do. I'm doing the real fast version, okay? So I've traced my circle, I've colored it. So now I'm going to use my fingers and we're going to cut out the circle. So we're going to follow the line and we're going to cut out our circle. All right, I can tell the earth is getting happy as we speak as we have just reused an envelope. There we go. And now I've got my button and this little cardboard piece right here. Miss Betty at Building Blocks, her mom and dad, they save these for us from the insides of their kitty cat food containers. They bring them to us and we reuse them, okay? So I'm going to cut, just going to make a line right there, if you can see, okay, so we've got that. Now we're going to take some glue and we're going to glue our button onto our piece of cardboard, okay, and da 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 da, there you have it, we have a button for don't push the button. Okay, so is everybody ready? You're still with me? We've got our button. We're ready to go. If you need to have mom and dad push the pause button while you get it, go ahead. I'll be here when you come back. I'm not going anywhere. All right, so let's get started. Are we ready? And again, the name of our book was Don't Push the Button. It was written and illustrated by Bill Cotter. If you enjoy this one, I think this is a Funny, funny book. Don't push the button. Hi, my name is Larry. Welcome to my book. There's only one rule. Don't push the button. Don't push your button. Whatever you do, don't push your button. Seriously, don't even think about it. Don't do it. You want to, but nope, don't do it. Oh, it does look pretty nice, though. Hmm. I wonder what would happen if we pushed it. Oh, better not. No. Oh, we can't. We mustn't. But it's so red and shiny. No, we can't. Psst. No one is looking. You should give the button one little Push. Now, I'm going to push the red button. You guys get ready to push your button that you made. We're going to give it one little push. 
Oh, let's see what happens. Ah! Now I'm yellow! Push it again! Whoop! Eek! Now I'm yellow and polka dot. Push it twice. We gotta push it two times. One, two. Ah! Now there's two of me. Push it a bunch of times. Push it a bunch of times. What happens? Uh, oh. Oh, I'm in trouble. Shake the book to get rid of all the extra layers. We're gonna shake the book. Ooh, shake, 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 shake. I wonder if we got rid of the layers. Almost. A little more. Shake it on. Shake, 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 shake. Whoo, he that tickles. Okay, much, much better. Now, let's not push that button again. But that was kind of fun. Maybe just a couple more pushes. Should we do it? Boop, boop. The end. That was pretty funny. I liked pushing the buttons. That was a good one. Well, to go along with our buttons and recycling and doing things again, I've got a project that we are going to reuse something. So the first thing you need to do is you need to get you maybe an empty box of tissues. And well, we're using those right now, huh? That old allergy season. And I asked Miss Pam if she would save me some plastic bottle lids. And it's kind of hard to see them, but on each lid, I put the letter of the alphabet. I used a silver Sharpie for these because it's such a dark lid. But I have each letter of the alphabet in uppercase letters, okay? So once you get them all made, you dump all of your letters into the box. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And you shake them up. So now that's ready to go, okay? And then you need to get you a piece of paper that you already have, recycle it, redo, reuse it, and you're going to write the lowercase ABCs on it, okay? So we've got the uppercase in the box, and we've got the lowercase on a piece of paper. And what you do is you stick your hand in, shake, 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 you pull out a letter, and I have the uppercase Z. So then I need to find the lowercase z, oh, there it is, and I cover it, okay? And you can get another one. This is the uppercase c. So now we need to look for the lowercase c. Do we see it anywhere? Oh, right there it is. And then you just continue this way till you have all of your ABCs over there, and that is a good matching game, uh, knowing the difference between our uppercase and our lowercase letters. We're using our brains and uh, we're going to have so much fun. And that is it boys and girls for today. I hope you enjoyed Don't Push the Button. And oh no, wait, I almost forgot the game. That was the fun thing. I'm so sorry. I'm scatterbrained today. Our game is you're going to take your button so sorry guys. And you're going to say, don't push the button or you'll start spinning in circles. So you're going to stand up, you push the button, and you start spinning around in circles. Because Miss Penny's forgetting things today, it's probably not a good idea if I spin around in circles. Another thing it said here was, don't push the button or you'll start mooing like a cow. So, <laughs> oh. We're going to get Mr. Kale. He's going to come, and he's going to be our button pusher. All right, Kale, are you ready? Don't push your button, or you'll start jumping like a frog. Oh, he pushed his button. There he goes. He's jumping like a frog. Okay, don't push your button, or you'll start flying like a plane. Oh, no, he just pushed the button, and he's flying like a plane again. All right, and then after you go through all of those that I have there, 
Be creative. Come up with something on your own. Because down here at the bottom I have, now it's your turn. Don't push the button or you'll, and you get to think of something on your own to do. We'll put Mr. Kale on the spot. What's he going to do? Oh, he's doing push-ups. Way to go, Kale. All right, and you guys can make this last as long as you want. Thank you, Kale. So, that's been a little scatterbrain, but I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you again next time, boys and girls. Bye-bye. I miss you. Hope to see you soon.